and welcome back to The Way, The Truth, and The Life, where we share God's word, glorify God, and encourage everyone else to give their life to Christ. My name is Glory, if you do not know. If you are interested in faith-based videos, lifestyle, and fashion, then this channel is most likely for you. So please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and enjoy today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this show called The Ultimatum or like The Ultimatum itself. What I think about it, I want to hear what you guys think about it, what you guys think about an ultimatum period. So um, I really wish I did a reaction to Love is Blind. I will do a reaction to um, season three because I do have some thoughts of my of my own of that show. But basically, if you don't know what The Ultimatum is, it's basically a show on Netflix by the producers or makers of Love is Blind. I think it's better than, low-key, better than Love is Blind only because I like TV drama because I'm literally arguing to the screen because when I hear the way people actually think I'm always flabbergasted I'm like no way you actually think this way no way you actually said this or feel this whatever it is but yeah I like TV drama and you know reality TV stuff before we begin do not forget to click the subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend tell your mom to tell their grandma well tell your mom to tell her mom to tell her friends and yeah, so yeah, onto the video. Yeah. So I'm gonna do two videos. It's gonna be like a part one, and then the second video is gonna be like me reacting to this particular scene um, in one of the episodes of The Ultimatum. It was a crazy, it was the funniest, it was the funniest scene ever. When I saw the trailer of The Ultimatum, it looked very trash. It looked, it didn't, it looked a little bit interesting, but it also didn't look like it was worth watching but for some reason my cousin my my cousin slash friend she was watching the video and she posted it on her instagram three times and when she posts something three times or when someone posts something more than three times we just like okay now i have to see what it's about so i started watching it and off the bat it was crazy um first of all i would never give an ultimatum i feel like I don't know, like, first of all, I would never give an ultimatum, second of all, I would never give an ultimatum on TV. That is so embarrassing. Doing stuff like that on TV, like, you just, it's just very embarrassing. And I don't like embarrassing myself, so I'm, it's a no for me. I'm gonna watch the trailer first, and then I will give you my, my tea on everything. The only thing scarier than losing you right now would be to marry you. I do blame. You're here because someone in your relationship has issued an ultimatum. I want a ring on this finger. One partner is ready to get married and the other isn't sure. I'm not ready to propose. Take a good look around at each other. You're gonna find out if there are people here who might be a better fit. At the end of the week, you'll each choose a new partner. You'll move in together for three weeks. At the end of this experience. Okay, I don't want to forget, but basically every single person that gave an ultimatum to the partner wanted or expected to leave, expected to enter the show and leave with the partner that got the ultimatum to come back to them and end up getting married. That is the basis of an ultimatum. Either you marry me or I'm leaving. Either you put a ring on this finger or I'm dipping. Choose to marry the person you've arrived here with or to split forever. And personally, none of the people on the show are ready to get married. Like, none of them. Maybe, like, no, none of them. None of them. I was trying to make an excuse or see, but no, none of them. Like, maybe a little bit of some of them, like two, three of them, but no. Only... I would say only Randall. Only Randall was the only person who was ready to get married. But like he was not financially ready, but he was ready. That's one person. There who was is ready. someone for everyone, and I think that a lot of people would be happy to be with me. Yeah. Can we just have a good time because our lives are gonna change in 24 fucking hours? Being single is extremely nerve-wracking. This experience is making us all start over. It's weird to see the person that you came here with dating someone else. I'm not attracted to you. I think you can do like 100% better than him. My eyes have opened up to a lot of things that I want in a relationship. Let me pause. I'm only laughing because I watched that scene and the episode and the girl was just salty. She was salty because she thought he was interested in her, but after their conversation, he was not interested and he realized that they were in a match. And she thought she had him like this, but the next day, he was like, I'm not interested in you. 
And then she was mad and she left. And the following day, she wanted to meet with him to ask him why she wasn't he wasn't interested in her. And he was like, I'm not attracted to you. And then she was salty. Like, why are you salty? That everyone's gonna think you're cute. I was spending the rest of my life with you. Absolutely. This is hard. It's like if you guys aren't gonna be real with yourselves, like why are you here? I would be crushed if she walked out of here with another guy. Do I think that there's a possibility that I could be happy with somebody else? Yes. I definitely thought giving Jake the ultimatum would bring us together. It is doing the complete opposite. That is the ultimatum of the show. Now, an ultimatum in real life, you don't, if you don't know what an ultimatum is, nobody in the show was together for more than two years. More than, more than two and a half years. That was the longest relationship on the show, two and a half years. And people were expecting rings on their finger. In the show, it was mostly girls that were giving the ultimatum. And there was like two guys who gave the ultimatum and one of the guys, Colby, when he, he gave his ultimatum and his was making sense. The other guy, Nate, his ultimatum did not make sense. I mean, it did make, it didn't make sense because she wanted to get married, but she didn't want kids. He wanted kids, but he wanted to get married. So they had that issue on itself. That does, doesn't really deserve an ultimatum because you need to resolve your issue about kids because that problem is not going to go away at all <laughs> so either you change your heart about not wanting kids or she changes her heart or some either you guys meet in the middle or go your separate way when a girl gives an ultimatum to me it's like you don't really know your worth if you have to question your relationship after a few years then you shouldn't even be in a i know i hate to say this word like my lip my tongue hates saying this word but if you have to issue an ultimatum or feel like if they should an ultimatum or you have to question where this is going or what's going on in your relationship then you shouldn't even be in that relationship if the person doesn't know that you want a ring on their finger and you guys don't have that discussion then it's a no for me but um to me a good reason not to get married yet would be finances and that is an amazing reason like the guy wants to be financially stable you know before he gets his before he puts it together a family but at the same time i learned i heard this in church and it was amazing. You don't need, you don't necessarily need to have your finances ready, but once you have a vision and you're working towards it, then the finances will come. I'm not saying you should be broke and get married. I'm not saying you should be a billionaire, a billionaire or have a successful job and get married, but as long as you are um, working towards that or you like, you know, you're stable, like you have money, but you don't have as much money as you would want before getting married. You don't need to wait till you get there. Um, just trust in God. Trust that your vision will, you know, come to life and work towards that and it will come. Because once you keep waiting for, you know, something to happen, you never, like, it might be too late. It, never, it might not even happen. It might even go the opposite of what you thought it was going to do or be. So that's why, um, you know, waiting till I'm financially stable is can be like good and bad. For me, I would never give an ultimatum. I just think, again, I don't want to have to be with someone for two years and not even know what we are, not even know what his, you know, what his plans are family-wise in the future because a guy will let you know these things. And if a guy doesn't let you know these things, like, within those few years then he is too he's way too comfortable with where you guys are at and that's why i feel like sometimes girls need to like put their foot down and like you know not be afraid to be forward and not be afraid to let a guy know that hey like this is what i want in the long run like let me know what you think let me know what you your vision might be let me know what your future looks like to you etc and you know work from there instead of um thinking he knows because guys don't know <laughs> unless you tell them a guy will not do something or yeah a guy will not do something unless you tell him to do something like my brother does not clean the washroom <laughs> this is a bad example not really but he doesn't clean the washroom unless you tell him to clean the washroom so you have to at least let him know not exactly the thing that you want but let him know that like, your idea let him know where your head is at with especially with thing a thing like marriage a big thing like marriage that needs to be discussed you can't just sit around being his um furniture <laughs> you're basically a furniture you're just there don't be a furniture let him know how you feel don't wait till you know it's too late don't wait till you have you've wasted so much time 
and you're blocking like what if you're blocking your blessings just let the guy know see where his head is at talk about these things even vice versa because it's not even just guys because girls sometimes i don't know this is very rare for girls but some girls can get too comfortable themselves and not really have a timeline because guys don't really care guys don't care about marriage they don't care as much as girls care about marriage like they can wait five ten years to get married they don't care girls that's why Girls are more of like, you know, I'm going to get married before 30. <laughs> I'm getting married before 30. That's me. I'm that girl. So I'm letting you know. You need to know that I'm getting married before 30. Not even before 30. Before, 30, before 27. You need to know that I'm getting married before 27. <laughs> Yeah, so my advice, what I, the, the takeaway from this, girls don't give your man an ultimatum. Man, don't give your girls an ultimatum. It's not cute. You're not going to like the result. And yeah, just trust God. That is my perspective. That is my view, my reaction, my thoughts about the show ultimatum and about an ultimatum itself. Let me know what you guys think about the show giving an ultimatum. Would you give your person an ultimatum? I hope the answer is no. <laughs> but let me know what you guys would do, what you guys think about the whole situation. Thank you for tuning in and staying tuned. I will see you next time. But don't forget that I love you, but most importantly, God loves you so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye.